Okay, so here we have a giant Dell 7920. Uh, we're just gonna unbox it and put, uh, pull it apart, give you the basics, and then let's do that right now. So, so far I've just cut the top of this thing. Now one way to do this is to... Well, let's just take a look in here. Okay, so cables for the video card I ordered, and power, that's it. So we're gonna skip that, nothing interesting there. Then the actual unit is here. So, the question is how to get that out. Well, if you've never worked on a big box before, the answer is to flip it over and dump it out. I'm gonna do just that. Jesus, thing's heavy. Okay, there it is. Okay, take bracketing off here, phone protection. Okay, so let's pull this apart, at least the basics of it. So I'll flip it over. go. It should just snap. There it is. Yeah, it just snaps out. There's a cable here. goes in the header there, which drives the fan. And this can get lifted out. Um, you can pull this and lift it out. Not a problem. We've got the video card. There's a Thunderbolt card here. And you can see in this case I've configured it with single CPU and uh, that's 128 gig of RAM, I believe. The uh, front also comes off just by removing these clips. Um, nothing really interesting there, so I'm not going to bother. I'm going to put this back on, and I'm going to flip it over to the more interesting side. Well, normally it's the less interesting side, but in this case it's more interesting because I'm actually going to put things into it. So I'm going to add in these flex bays. Let's get to that. show you the back here so audio is if you need that but you know what the heck doesn't cost anything serial port again ancient oh, ps2 ports well crazy two nicks gig uh, all super speed usb three ports i have added a p1000 in thunderbolt card uh, single power supply in this case On the front we have card reader, two USB 3.1, uh, USB 3 ports, USB type C ports, again all super speed, no surprise, headphone jack. This particular uh, USB port has additional power going to it. And on the front here there's a little switch which helps you remove this uh, component here which is what I'm going to do in a minute. So in the back there's two screws I need to remove to get this side off and this is where the flex base goes. It's the advantage of the 79 chassis, 7920 chassis. I put flex base here and here. You can see this is a giant 1400 watt power supply and it may not look it, but all of these are actually really well labeled. So you can see which, you know, flex bay goes to which port and so on and so forth. Okay, to add more disc in, we're gonna add a uh, flex bay in the back here. I've already unpackaged them, but I can tell you that they didn't really come with very much. So <laughs> that is, the drive bays and this is the back plane and uh, contrary to what it looks like it's actually all labeled pretty well so let's uh, get this going so the first thing to do is to now you'll notice you see rear gives you a pretty good idea the first thing you have to do is pull this panel off the back so on the bottom you'll see these slide glides um, they just lock in here so you really can't screw up the placement Put it in there it is. And you can see it lines up nicely. Same thing with this one. Actually, I'll... There we go. Just slides in nicely. I can screw those in, but for the minute, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to put the back planes on. And uh, I may have to jiggle these a bit. So let's get it going. Okay, so to put these in, uh, you need to hook... You need to get that little hook right there into the middle here. You also need to get that hole into that pin. And you also need to get these two holes into these two pins. So it's not difficult, but it's uh, just a bit of a dance. And you have to do all of that while it's underneath this bracket. So let's just put that under there. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hook it in. There, it's now down. That one's in. Now I just, just need to line this up. Got it in, but the, it's not a hook. Can I get that to hook? Let's see if I can squidge it a bit. <laughs> I got it, okay. So that's in, that one's happy. Let's get this one going now. Same thing. 
hook the bottom left, the bottom right depends on your perspective, I suppose. Get those pins lined up there. Once these flip in, you're good to go. Uh, the kits come with screws, so you then just screw this down. I'm going to skip this so you don't have to watch. Okay, so that's all screwed down. Now I need to connect everything. So let's get to that. All right, so when you're connecting these, you need to know which bays are which. So this is flex bay zero, one, two, three, four. The first thing to do is get all these cables straight out. Let's connect flex bay four. Uh, connect those headers right now. And I know you can't see these, but just trust me that they're on the right place. So that's flex bay four right there. See, they're labeled. Same thing over here. The headers are all clearly labeled. And let's zoom out a bit here so you can see the power connectors. Now let's try to keep the cables away from fans and things. So I don't like that tick, tick, tick sound. These things will sh shred. Those are in. Let's get the main power connectors going. So that one will connect here. There we go. And this connector clips on here. Happiness is Flex Bay 4 and 5 are now in. Um, I don't care about the panel in the back, I want it exposed. And uh, so I'm just going to bolt this back together now. Pull this front panel off and get access to the uh, bays that are underneath. Uh, there's a little trick, which is there's a switch right here. You have to press. There it is to unlock it, and then that will slide down nicely, and this just pops off. If you don't do that, you'll struggle with this for quite a long time. And then there you can see the bays. Okay, so as you can see, this comes with the four drive bays that this unit shipped with on the front. The drive bays are convertible, so you can get M.2 cards for these. Um, however, there are some issues with it. Uh, I already tried to bolt a kit in, didn't work, called a Dela guy up, couldn't work, spent two hours on it, couldn't work, couldn't get it to work. Anyway, uh, but you can easily convert these to two and a half inch drives like uh, the, the one that shipped with it, as you can see here. And I'm just going to pull that out, I'm going to pop a solid state SSD into it, and I'm going to run a one second benchmark. taken the grill off as I explained already and at the back I've added in uh, four more bays so that's eight plus I'm going to add in the Dell uh, I think it's called the Ulti Bay or Ultra Drive and what that is is a four port NVMe PCIe Express basically an M.2 uh, card that lets you put four M.2 drives together these will not be rated, however, other than in software. And in software, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rate them as a stripe because I just need uh, eight terabyte of extra space. So I've gone out, purchased some disk. And that I've already tested. Just plug that in and it just works. There's, we have a separate video on that if you're interested. All right, so we have the machine patched and updated. Uh, we have the antivirus turned off and everything else that we can turn off. We're going to benchmark it with NovaBench. And as usual, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch it. We'll just give you the results. I'll benchmark it three times in a row and we'll see what the numbers look like. Okay, so let's look at some of the details here. It looks like it's coming up with uh, 3640 is a nice average here. So we'll just expand this. The Now this is just running off a crappy uh, SATA SSD, so this is not gonna be great. Uh, and that's not really the point. Uh, let's take a look at the spec. So you can see it's a single socket, uh, Xeon Gold 6138 CPU, 2 GHz, 120 GB RAM, that's all happy, and the NVIDIA video card is a P1000, 
um, with four heads. So I think that's really about it. If you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.